Today we're taking a look at the Behringer B5 condenser microphone and why I think it's the best microphone for indoor dialogue under $100. Let's take a look. When it comes to recording indoor dialogue, shotgun mics typically aren't any good, especially if you're in a room like this that's small with no sound treatment and you get a lot of reverb and a lot of echo. And one of the biggest reasons for that is because shotgun mics, while they're very directional, they're also kind of sensitive from the back. So they're gonna pick up a lot of that echo and a lot of that reverb. So when I stopped vlogging as much and I started doing more tutorials and more videos inside the studio, I found myself at kind of a disadvantage and in the market for what's called a pencil mic. Now, pencil mics are traditionally used as instrument mics and are actually very, very good for overhead drum mics, but they're also really good for indoor dialogue. And the reason for that is that they're not as sensitive from the back. So they're going to pick up less of those unwanted frequencies, less of that reverb, less of that echo, and you're gonna get a better sound right out of the mic. So as usual, I'm on a budget and I'm hunting for a microphone under $100. And I came across the Behringer B5. I liked the reviews that I watched and the reviews that I read. And so I decided to order one. And let me tell you, that was a really good decision. I mean, this thing gives you incredible value for your money. It's a solid microphone. I think it's an aluminum build. It's really, really nice. It's an XLR mic, which I love because I just find that XLR gives you a much better connection than 3.5 millimeter or even quarter inch. The terminals are gold plated to preserve signal integrity. It's got a 10 dB high pass filter switch, which you can turn on and off, which is a nice touch. It comes with both a cardioid and an omnidirectional cap. So if you wanna do something directional, you can, and that's what I'm doing now. Or if you want a mic where you can pick up everything around you, you can pop on that omnidirectional cap and you're good to go. It comes in a hard plastic carrying case with foam inserts, which is a nice touch. And it comes with a microphone holder and a foam pop filter. So this thing already off the bat before even hearing it is pretty, it's a pretty good value for your money. Now, what you're hearing is the edited sound from this microphone. I've got EQ, compression, limiters, all the normal dialogue stuff that I do to my videos. But let's take all of that out of there so you can hear the unedited sound from the Behringer B5. Now what you're hearing is the unedited sound from the microphone. And one of the things that I really like about it is that even unedited, as long as I have it placed, in the right position, it blocks out a lot of those unwanted frequencies. You're not getting a ton of reverb, a ton of echo, and it sounds really, really good. And for those of you wondering if this thing is gonna produce a lot of self noise or if it's got a high noise floor, let's do a noise floor test right now. Pretty quiet, right? Now, before we move on, I do wanna let you know, one, that this video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and finally got around to doing a review on it. And two, like I said, this thing's about 70 bucks on Amazon. If you wanna pick one up for yourself, I've got a link in the description below. Now, all in all, I think this is a great microphone. If you take the price out of the equation, this thing sounds really, really good, and it's really easy to edit too, which is a nice touch, because I love audio editing. Now, you may have noticed that when I was playing the unedited sound, you heard a little bit of room echo, because like I said, this is just a horrible room to record in. There's no sound treatment whatsoever. So if you wanna learn about removing the room echo from your videos, go ahead and check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.